everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is obviously another Christmassy video. I think it's just gonna be Christmassy videos until Christmas is over now. But today I thought I would do some Christmas wrapping. I've been getting really stressed because I've got most of my presents now, but I haven't wrapped any of them. Well, I hadn't until yesterday. So last night I went a bit wrapping mad and I wrapped about 50% of the presents that I've bought. So I thought I would save a few and do them on camera and sort of show you how I wrap them, what I'm using, decorations I use, and just like the theme that I'm going with this year. And also, I was gonna do a bit of a DIY tutorial today because I, I made these dried oranges. I'm so proud of myself. This is the first time I've ever done them. They smell amazing. Yeah, my first attempt, I think that they went really well. But I plan on adding these to presents this year, so I thought if anyone else out there wants to know how to make these, I could do a little tutorial. So I filmed myself making them. So I'm gonna show you how I made these oranges first, and then we're gonna wrap a few presents. I'm gonna show you what I'm using to decorate my presents this year, because every year I try and do something different. And I have a bit of a Christmassy talk, because I'm feeling really festive. So grab a nice blanket and a hot chocolate, or grab your presents and your wrapping if you wanna wrap along with me, and let's Let's get into the dried orange tutorial. All right, so I've got my oranges here. I got four of them because I wasn't sure how many I would need. So these are just like the giant oranges that you can get in like Sainsbury's. So yeah, I've got four of them. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I guess it depends how many times you slice them. So yeah, you're gonna need some oranges. I've just got four, but I'll we'll see how many this makes. <laughs> I don't know how many this is gonna make. And we have two little sous chefs in the kitchen with us. They are both very muddy because they've both been out for a long walk today. Lulu looks like she's got little black socks on. Lulu, you got some black socks on. You got some socks. Maybe you. And Teddy's got his little jump on because he is always cold. But I'm guessing they're both going to stay in here with me because she is obsessed with food and he is obsessed with people. So I think they're going to stay in here with me. With my little sous chefs. You my little sous chefs. Okay, so I've got a chopping board and I've got a knife here and I have to cut them to about five to eight millimeters thick. I think if you cut them any thinner, they will shrink when you dry them and they'll be a bit too thin. I need a better knife than this because this one is really blunt. I'm assuming this is okay as a slice. I mean, I guess I'll do some a little bit thicker just in case and then hope for the best. It smells so nice. It smells so orangey. I love it. What I found a lot easier is to cut off both ends first so you don't end up like, like having to cut it really thin at the end. Just like cut both ends off and then sort of slice it. Okay, so I have all of my orange slices here. Some of them are a bit uneven, but this is sort of the shape I was going for, just even and round, but some of them are just a little bit, a little bit uneven. I mean, what is that? Okay, so I'm gonna preheat my oven to 120 if you've got a fan, gas one if you have gas. Okay, so I've got two baking trays here. These are clean, they're just a little bit stained because we've had them for a while. Um, and I'm going to line them with baking parchment paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut some of this baking paper so it fits. So I've lined, well I've sort of lined them with two baking trays with baking paper. I'm gonna put the oranges on and then I'm gonna dry them with some kitchen towel to make sure that they're a little bit more dry. So that is all of the oranges onto the baking paper and now I'm just gonna sort of dry them as much as I can with some kitchen towel and hope that works. I'm guessing this just like speeds up the process or something. All right, I'm just gonna turn them over and do the other side and then I will pop them into the oven. Okay, they're in the oven. Okay, so most places said that you need to turn them every half an hour and that they'll take about three hours to cook. I guess like you just have to keep checking and make sure that they don't burn, but every half an hour make sure to check on them and to turn them over so that they don't overdo on one side. 
Okay, so I have my oranges here and I got them out of the oven last night. A few of them were a little bit sticky, so I thought I would just leave them overnight to air dry. Unfortunately, some of them haven't air dried as well as others. They're still a bit sticky and when you squeeze them, you can still feel the juice inside. So I'm going to have to put these in the oven for another half an hour, but a few of them over here are nice and dried, so I don't need to put those back in. But yeah, altogether, I've left these in for two and a half hours, so they'll need another half an hour, so about three hours altogether. And I was turning them over every half an hour, but yeah, this is what they look like now and then hopefully they'll be done in half an hour but we'll see okay so this is what the oranges look like when they're finally finished as you can see a few of them sort of overcooked on a few sides but they'll be okay i can just cover them up with some ribbon or something but a lot of them look really really good and they smell amazing and i think they'll look really cute on the presents so all together these took about two hours and 50 minutes turning them over every half an hour so i can't wait to put these on some presents and if i've got any left over i will be attaching them to some string and then hanging them somewhere up somewhere in my room okay so these are all of the presents that i've already wrapped they look very plain obviously because they're only you know brown paper parcels pretty much i have plans for these i have quite a lot of um decorative things to add it just means that every single present's gonna have to have some sort of decoration around like on it otherwise this is gonna be a really plain present but yeah this paper that i used is just plain brown paper i've wrapped about half my presents so it's perfect i have another full roll and then some left over okay so i have quite a lot of ribbon and decorative bits to put on there so a lot of string like this i was planning on using this stuff specifically to go on to presents and then i've got this string as well it's a bit of a mess it was all inside a box oh by the way this is what my camera is on top of at the moment and all of this is rubbish from all of the presents that i unwrapped so i'm so sorry about the mess i have a few things like this that have fallen off of christmas trees that i thought i could use and then i have lots more ribbon here and then in this box i have a load of decorative stuff so i have a lot of big things like this to attach to presents. This was on a garland I had in my room a, a years ago and I took these off and I thought I'd keep them. And then there's like these bells, like giant bells that were on it as well that I could use. Okay, I've also got these acorns that I got from Sainsbury's that is attached to some string that I thought I could attach to some presents. They're a bit tangled, but I'll have to untangle them. I also got these, these little decorative bells. So they're obviously, I've got some big ones and then I've got some mini ones. So these will go on the mini presents. Those ones will go on the bigger presents. But yeah, just some little decorative stuff to add. And then I've got a lot of random bits of like stuff like this. My dog basically destroyed a Christmas decoration, this one. And I thought I would try and pull the bits off it and attach those to some presents as well. I'm trying to just reduce my waste and reuse a lot of the stuff that I used last year. So yeah, this is all the decorations I'm going to add. So I'm going to wrap a few presents now and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate them after. Do, 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 do. You can't see me, can you? Do, 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 do. Oh my days! I have quite a lot of presents that I haven't wrapped yet. Like this, for example. My brother, which has the price on. I think I'm gonna like move the camera so you can sort of like see me wrapping the actual presents. That'll do. I feel I've never been this far away from my camera before, so it feels like I have to shout. <laughs> Honestly, my room just smells like lush now. It genuinely just smells like lush in here. I love it. It's Christmas, everyone. My scissors and my tape. Very small scissors, but they're gonna have to do. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna wrap is these. Little coaster. If you've seen my previous video, which is my what I got my family for Christmas video, you would have seen these already. These are for my mum. I'm hoping she's not outside. She can't hear me saying this, but yeah, these are for my mum. So I thought whilst I wrapped my presents, I could do sort of a little not Q&A because I don't have enough followers to have a Q&A. I thought I could ask you guys some Christmassy questions, and then if you feel up to it, you could tell me your answers in the comments. I think the first one would be, do you and your family have any sort of Christmas traditions? As in like, things that you and your family do every single year that you do without fail every year. We have a few things that we do every year. Every Christmas day, we always get the Wii Out and Mario Kart and the Wii Sports, like bowling. We used to always get Just Dance out, which I've got to say, I was always the best at, but we don't really do that anymore. I don't know why I'm not wrapping these together. Why would I wrap them separate? Let me see if I can slot it in. 
and go, she'll never know. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so I think another tradition of ours is every single year, me and my mom go to Knot Cuts. So we go to Knot Cuts, which is the garden center that's quite close to where we live. And they have the most amazing Christmas display. And I actually did a vlog on it. So if you wanna watch that, I can link in the description below. So that's the first present done. Circle presents to me are the most annoying to wrap. I'm usually pretty good at wrapping, but this paper this year, is really letting down the team. It's all right, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, so we always go to Knot Cuts to look at their, their Christmas display. Honestly, their display is just incredible. And if you have a Knot Cuts near you, I definitely recommend going and checking them out. Right, the next thing I'm wrapping is this for my mum. Again, I mentioned all of this in my last video. So Knot Cuts was actually where I had my very first job. I used to work in the cafe there when I was about 16. Like a little cafe where you get like coffee, coffee and cakes and things like that. And I hated it minimum wage and because i was the youngest i was usually given the worst jobs they'd leave me to deal with all of the customers on my own i think it was because i was the youngest and because i never really said anything to complain or anything because i had anxiety and i didn't really want to say anything but a lot of the time i was sort of left and there would be like queues and queues of customers that would be expecting me to hurry up and get them coffee and get really annoyed at me and it was like i'm trying my best I'm only 16 and I'm trying my best. I'm getting paid like four pounds an hour. I try not to let that hinder my, ex my experience currently. This is what happens when you don't have one of those like tape holders. I have to stick some tape to my water bottle so I don't lose it. Where did you have your first job? If you had one yet, where was your first one? And did you enjoy it or was it, was it crap? Because I feel like your first job can kind of be a learning curve in a way you figure out what you definitely don't want to do and i definitely decided i didn't want to work in a cafe and i haven't worked in a cafe since so i feel like if you've worked in a job like that you've worked in retail you've worked in hospitality you can really sympathize with the workers it's a really tough job especially now like around the christmas rush anyone that works in retail on the christmas rush you are an everyday hero i don't know how you do it you know what i'm just gonna cut it where are my scissors where did I put my right behind me? I think the next thing I'm interested in knowing is what is your sort of like routine for Christmas day? Like, do you have a specific time? Do you have like a specific time that you all wake up? Like, do you get up early? Do you, do you have a lay in? Like, what, what's your routine? And then, and then what do you do? When do you have Christmas dinner? What do you wear? Do you like dress up or do you? Go a bit more casual. I want to know what your plans are. It's our Christmas now, I'm interested. So for our family, I usually wake up quite early because I'm always just really excited. Christmas just makes me a child. And then me and my sister will just be texting each other like, are you awake? Are you awake yet? Because she's, she's below me. And then we go downstairs. Everyone brings all of their presents down. All right, this is the last thing to wrap for my mother. Yeah, Christmas day, we wake up early, go downstairs, we all get our presents, put them in bags, take them down and put them under the tree. And then we will get our Christmas breakfast, which is always the same thing and I look forward to it every year. It is scrambled eggs with smoked salmon and hollandaise sauce on top of English muffins. It is the tastiest breakfast in the world. Yeah, so we have breakfast and then we all open our presents. Oh God, these scissors are so blunt. I've got a little present wrapping tip for anyone that doesn't want to try and use too much paper. So when you put the present on the paper like this, obviously check if it goes around fully. But if you want to check like the length of it, so stand the present up against the end of the paper like that and then lay it flat and then pull it up one more time. And that's how much paper you need. Right, so let's wrap this. But yeah, after breakfast, we open all of our presents and then we just relax for a bit until Christmas dinner, which we usually have around like one o'clock. It's more like Christmas lunch than Christmas dinner, but I definitely prefer it that way because that means we get to just eat a load of snacky stuff for dinner time. You know, like the frozen Chinese stuff from Sainsbury's and you know, like the mozzarella sticks and that kind of snacky party food. We have that in the evening and just relax. We usually play a few board games and party games and stuff. All right, so that is 
the last present for my mum done. I've pretty much wrapped all of the things I wanted to show you, me wrapping on camera. So now I'm just gonna show you what my ideas are for decorating because I think I've spent like 20 minutes talking on camera and wrapping. So I think that's enough wrapping now. So for this one, we're gonna use this lighter ribbon. I'm gonna use a bell. Yeah, and then we're gonna go for a smaller orange because it's a smaller present. Okay, so I'm gonna start with just putting the ribbon around one side. Okay, so for this side, obviously, I'm gonna put the tape around this way because I want to do a ribbon. Okay, so I've started off by tying it up. So I'm gonna start with the tag on this side, like that. And then I'm gonna add the orange. There's already a little hole in the orange, so I'm just gonna put it through the hole at the top, like that. And then I'm gonna add the little bell on top. So now I'm just going to tie this into a little bow and there we go i think that looks so cute i'm just so proud of that look at it and i love that the little bell is in the middle like a little reindeer's nose it looks like rudolph's nose that is adorable i love it yeah so this this is what i'm trying to aim for most of my presents to look like pretty much just sort of similar to this i just wanted to do this one because this is a really special present if you've seen my previous video you would have seen this this is the rick and morty portrait that i've got for my boyfriend i've decided i'm going to use this ribbon actually for this and you want to make sure you have enough to tie a nice bow okay so i've tied it twice so now i'm gonna attach the little details and stuff to it i've got a big bell here i've got a tag and then an orange slice i'm gonna use one of the bigger ones just put everything like this and i'm gonna put the orange a little bit lower down because i sort of want it to dangle off the ribbon if you know what i mean and then i'm just gonna tie some knots behind it and then trim trim the excess so it's sort of dangling off the the rope you can you see where i've sort of like tied so that the orange doesn't fall off yeah i think that it's quite cute just with the orange and the bell so i'm just gonna leave it like that to be honest okay i'm gonna show you one more example of what i'm gonna be doing for the wrapping and then i'll show you what they all look like together once i'm done so i'm gonna use an acorn for this one mini bell a tag and we're gonna use this brown yarn with the brown paper though you have so many options for decorations so i've seen on pinterest someone printing off a load of pictures of like snowy forests and just sticking those onto these uh, parcels and they looked really cute i decided i'm just gonna do a little bell with this because i think this little parcel on its own looks really cute yeah so i'm gonna leave this one like this because i think that looks but it looks really cute and it's got the little bell on it and stuff so but yeah you kind of get the idea of sort of the presents that i'm going for but i will show you what all of the presents look like once they're all wrapped and they're all ready and you can see some of the different designs that i've gone for okay so i've wrapped some here just to give you sort of an example of the kind of things i'm going to be doing but yeah i've tried to do like brown paper and adding some cute little details like this and then there's some um, cinnamon type stuff with little berries on a little acorn and just like little bells and ribbons and stuff all over them but i think they turned out really cute actually i still have a lot of things to wrap and a lot of things to add decorations and stuff too but it's going to take me so long i'm probably going to have to do a few a day i thought i would just show you these for now so you can kind of get the idea yeah that's pretty much it so i've sort of laid down for this intro my back is killing me does anyone else get a really bad back when they're wrapping presents because mine just breaks. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't wrap all of them today. It would take me hours to do all of them and I don't have time if I'm honest. So like I've given you like the idea of the main sort of decorations I want to do for my presents this year. I like to sort of wrap my presents up and give them to my family and make them feel a bit special when I'm giving them their, pre their presents for Christmas. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you have an amazing day and have fun with whatever you're doing today and that you're excited and prepared for Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!